Hello friends, hi. Today in this video, I will show you how to run RDA in R Studio and how to interpret the RDA plot. For this analysis, first of all, you need two separate data files. It means one data file is for spaces. Here you can see I have shown you on the screen and another data file is for environmental variables. Here I have shown you on the screen and after arranging these two data files, you have to save them in CSV comma delimited format. And then your next job is to import these data files one by one. But one thing, always keep it in your mind is that you have to remember where you have saved your data files. Now, I'm importing my data files. I have saved my data files in desktop. Here you can see EV. I have just given the code EV for the environmental variables. Just click on yes and just go to the import. And next data file is for the spaces, I have given the SPB code for this file. Just click on yes and just go to the import. Okay. I hope you will follow the my instructions. And just click on run. And then you have to attach to your data files. EV. Again, attached. Species, file of species. After all, for this analysis, first of all, you have to run the DCA because this DCA will give you the value of axis length and eigenvalue, which will help you to decide the whether RDA or CCA will be the most appropriate model to describe the association between species, size, seasons, and environmental variables. If the value of axis length is less than 3.5 and eigen value is less than 50%, then you have to go with the RDA or sometimes you may, with the, you may go with the PC analysis. Otherwise, if the value of axis length is greater than 3.5 and the eigen value is greater than 50%, then you have to go with the CC analysis. So, here I want to run the DCA. And I want to see the value of axis length and eigen value. So I just run the DCA and just type DCA and just click on run. Okay. Here you can see the eigenvalue and axis length. So eigenvalue of DCA1 is just 0 0.25 and the axis length of DCA1 is just 1.38. It means RDA redundancy analysis is the most appropriate model to describe the association between species, size, seasons and environmental variables. So I will run the RDA. Okay, here you can see the plot of RDA, but this plot is not clear, so 
we have some commands to clean this plot so species sp means and bp means by plot okay no it seems quite better than the previous one so now how to interpret this rda plot or rda result okay <clears throat> there are many ways to explain the plot rda plot or the cca plot here you can see the depth is or these two species c14 and c4 species are positively related to the water depth but negatively related to the turbidity and in this plot you can see these species c1 c9 c10 c11 c13 and c10 species are the positively related to pH and carbon dioxide and in this plot you can see turbidity, water temperature and DO are positively related to these species but these species are C5, C3, C7, C12 species are not related with the any environmental variables or you can explain uh, it like the occurrence of C14, C4 are highly associated with the depth and in the next plot C9, C10, C13, C11 and C1 species are the highly occurrence of these species are highly associated with the pH and carbon dioxide oxide and here you can see c16 c14 occurrence of these species are highly associated with the turbidity do and water temperature but here you can see the these species are positively related with the turbidity do and water temperature but negatively related to the depth just opposite here you can see but these species are not related to the any other variables so in this way you can explain very simple you can explain the any plot like uh, rda cc or the pca or sometimes nmds as well